This young boy is fired at his place of work for his genuine act of kindness to a disabled man. The next day, what happens to him changes his life forever. Daniel, a young boy who had recently interviewed for a job as a supermarket attendant, was thrilled when his application was approved. He could now afford to take care of his mom and save up for his education. His dedication to the job initially impressed his boss, Mr. Patrick. Daniel always helped customers clear and pay their bills at the till, and the older customers often praised the young boy for his selflessness. One morning, Daniel's attention was drawn to a particular customer, a disabled man named Mr. Banks, who was missing a leg and walked with crutches. Despite moving around well, Mr. Banks struggled to pick goods from the shelves due to a seriously bandaged hand, leaving him with only one functioning hand to handle both the crutches and the groceries. Daniel couldn't help but notice his difficulties in putting items in his grocery basket. He felt pity for the man facing challenges while shopping like everyone else. While attending to other customers, Daniel stole glances at Mr. Banks, who struggled with a huge jar of dairy products. Mr. Banks managed to grasp it just in time with his chest for support, as his injured hand couldn't handle the weight alone, and the functioning hand was already holding the crutches. Mr. Banks eventually pushed his cart filled with groceries and joined the line at the till to check out his items and pay the bills. Daniel continued observing, feeling a mix of admiration for Mr. Banks' determination and sadness for his struggles. Little did he know this encounter would lead to an unexpected event that would test his kindness and Mr. Patrick's attitude towards him. Daniel smoothly scanned groceries at the checkout, his experience evident in every efficient movement. As the queue progressed, Mr. Banks approached with a cart overflowing with bags, prompting Daniel to flash his warmest smile, hoping to ease any tension. Mr. Banks began unloading his groceries, his bandaged hand trembling slightly as he reached for the items. It was clear he was struggling to bag everything, his frustration visible. Daniel, empathetic to his plight, couldn't ignore the difficulties Mr. Banks faced with just one usable arm amidst the bustling checkout line. Daniel excused himself briefly with a polite, excuse me everyone, and stepped over to Mr. Banks. The man looked surprised, unsure of what was happening. Without hesitation, the young boy offered his assistance with a reassuring smile. Let me give you a hand, Daniel said, already picking up a couple of heavier bags. Mr. Banks, taken aback by the unexpected kindness, could only utter a grateful but hesitant response. Daniel dismissed any concerns, insisting, it's no trouble at all, let's get these to your car. With Mr. Banks leading the way, they made their way to his vehicle, a worn-out Ford pickup. Opening the hood, Mr. Banks revealed the limited space within. Daniel juggled good-naturedly, adapting to the situation. All right, let's make this work, he said, carefully organizing the groceries in the engine compartment. Daniel transformed the space into a makeshift trunk, lightening the old man's load considerably. Thank you so much, young man, Mr. Banks expressed with genuine gratitude. Touched by his kindness, Daniel beamed back, the satisfaction of helping someone in need radiating through him like a warm glow. As Mr. Banks drove off, the young boy watched him depart, a sense of satisfaction warming his heart. Turning back towards the store, he prepared to return to the till and attend to the waiting customers. However, his moment of contentment was short-lived as an unpleasant surprise awaited him. Daniel noticed his boss, Mr. Patrick, standing near the checkout area, a scowl etched on his face. The sight made Daniel uneasy. The boss was known for his strict business demeanor, prioritizing efficiency and profit over compassion or understanding. 
Mr. Patrick's anger boiled as he realized Daniel was absent from the till, leaving customers waiting in line. To him, every moment lost equated to potential revenue slipping away. He didn't care for explanations or emotions. All that mattered was business. As Daniel approached, Mr. Patrick's piercing gaze fell upon him. With a shaky voice, the young boy tried to explain his temporary absence, caught off guard by his boss's furious expression. He mentioned the disabled customer and how he couldn't manage to carry his groceries alone due to his bandaged hand. Before Daniel could finish, Mr. Patrick interrupted, demanding an apology for what he perceived as a lapse in duty. However, just as he was about to unleash his anger, something unexpected happened. Several customers in the line spoke up in Daniel's defense, praising his act of kindness toward Mr. Banks. They voiced their understanding and appreciation, mentioning that they didn't mind waiting a bit longer to be served after witnessing Daniel's compassion towards the disabled customer. Their words, however, failed to have any profound impact on Mr. Patrick, or even cause him to pause and reconsider his initial anger. He didn't realize that customer satisfaction and empathy were also crucial aspects of running a successful business, not just cold efficiency. As Mr. Patrick clenched his fists in frustration and stormed off to his office, Daniel couldn't shake off the worry caused by his boss's tense demeanor. After finishing his shift, Daniel received a message from another staff member informing him that Mr. Patrick wanted to see him in his office. Anxiety gnawed at him as he contemplated what awaited him. He could sense that his boss was extremely angry and dissatisfied with him leaving him wondering why his act of compassion towards a customer hadn't been appreciated. With a pounding heart, Daniel made his way up to Mr. Patrick's office, fear gripping him as he anticipated the worst possible outcome. Upon entering, he was met with his boss's stern gaze, signaling trouble. Mr. Patrick instructed him to sit down and placed a brown envelope on the desk in front of Daniel. Expressing his displeasure, he reprimanded the boy for leaving other customers waiting just to attend to one. He emphasized that every minute lost meant a loss of profit for the business, reiterating that the primary goal was profitability, not acts of kindness. In a heart-wrenching moment, Mr. Patrick delivered the devastating news. Daniel was fired. The envelope contained his payments for the work done so far signaling the end of his employment with the company. Daniel's eyes welled up with tears as he tried to plead with Mr. Patrick, explaining that he and his mother depended on the job's earnings to survive and pay their bills until things improved. However, the boss remained indifferent to his pleas. Unmoved by his desperate situation, he coldly dismissed him, instructing him to leave his office. With a heavy heart and tear-streaked face, Daniel realized that no amount of begging would change Mr. Patrick's decision. He left the office, his world turned upside down once again as he faced the harsh reality of unemployment. Arriving home, Daniel's mother couldn't ignore the sadness etched on her son's face. He refused to eat and retired to bed early, his demeanor clearly troubled. Wanting to respect his space and privacy, she decided to let him be for the night. The next morning, however, Daniel's mother expected him to prepare for work as usual. To her surprise, he remained in his room, even after the usual time he would have left. Concerned, she knocked on his door and expressed her worries about his somber mood and absence from work. With a heavy heart, Daniel revealed the reason for his sadness. He had been fired by his boss. His mother was shocked and curious, knowing her son to be hardworking, responsible, and decent. She couldn't fathom why he would be let go, especially without a valid reason. As Daniel explained the situation, his mother's shock turned into disbelief and then sadness. 
She felt deeply touched by his act of kindness toward Mr. Banks, the disabled customer. But she also felt a pang of sorrow, knowing that his boss, Mr. Patrick, didn't appreciate it and chose to terminate Daniel's employment because of it. The conversation between mother and son was a mix of emotions. Pride in Daniel's compassionate nature, disappointment in Mr. Patrick's lack of empathy, and concern about their future without Daniel's job. They both understood the importance of kindness and integrity, yet they also faced the harsh reality of how it sometimes clashed with business expectations. Despite the setback, Daniel's mother assured him of her support and encouraged him to keep his spirits up. She reminded him that while the situation was difficult, it didn't define his worth or character. Together, they brainstormed ideas for finding new job opportunities and staying resilient in the face of adversity. After breakfast with his mom, Daniel decided to take a walk down the street, keeping an eye out for any posters indicating job opportunities. Lost in his thoughts, he heard a car horn but didn't pay much attention, assuming it was for someone else. However, when people nearby gestured towards the car behind him, he turned around in surprise, wondering who could be calling him. To his astonishment, he recognized the car and approached to see a familiar figure smiling warmly at him. It was Mr. Banks. The old man greeted Daniel with genuine warmth and invited him to hop into the car, offering to drop him off wherever he was heading. During their conversation, Mr. Banks learned with sadness that Daniel had been sacked from his job because of their previous encounter. Your boss fired you for helping me carry my groceries? He exclaimed in disbelief. Daniel confirmed, explaining the situation. Mr. Banks' heart was both filled with pity for the boy's plight and warmed by gratitude for his act of kindness that day. As they continued talking, Daniel noticed that Mr. Banks' vehicle was customized for his use, a reminder of his missing leg. During their interaction, he also learned more about the old man's story, that his leg had been destroyed in an auto crash that had fatally injured one of his hands as well, the one he always kept bandaged to hide the scars. Despite the challenges he faced, Mr. Banks exuded a sense of resilience and positivity that inspired Daniel. Curious about Daniel's passions and dreams, the old man asked him about his aspirations. Little did Daniel know that this question would mark the beginning of a new journey, one that would lead him to unexpected opportunities and a brighter future, all stemming from an act of kindness that connected their paths in ways they could never have imagined. With innocence shining in his eyes, Daniel passionately explained to Mr. Banks how much he loved painting and what it meant to him. He showed him pictures of some of his paintings, hoping to convey the depth of his passion. To his surprise, Mr. Banks was genuinely impressed when he saw the paintings, expressing admiration for their creativity and emotional depth. Caught off guard by the old man's praise, Daniel initially thought it was just polite exaggeration. However, as Mr. Banks continued to appreciate the paintings, he realized that the man saw something special in his work that he himself had underestimated. Mr. Banks, being an accomplished painter himself, recognized the immense potential and talent in the boy's paintings. Daniel was shocked when the old man asked him to bring his best paintings to be displayed at his upcoming art gala. Despite having sold many paintings of his own, he had never come across art like Daniel's. He felt saddened that this promising young boy had put his dreams aside to work and raise money for further schooling, unaware of the incredible talent he possessed in painting. In what felt like a dream, Daniel prepared his best paintings and delivered them to Mr. Banks. This encounter with another painter and the opportunity to showcase his art felt like a ray of hope amidst the challenges he had faced. At the art gala, guests and art lovers were captivated by Daniel's paintings. 
They connected deeply with the emotions and stories depicted in his artwork, leading to enthusiastic bidding and appreciation for his talent. By the end of the day, Daniel couldn't believe his eyes. The sales from his art collection exceeded his former workplace salary by a significant margin, showcasing the value and recognition his art had received. He was overwhelmed with joy and gratitude as people complimented him on his work. The unexpected return of his act of kindness touched him deeply, filling his heart with immense happiness. When Mr. Banks asked him to work together in painting heartfelt and deep artworks, Daniel couldn't contain his emotions. It was a dream come true, a testament to the power of compassion and the unexpected ways life can reward kindness. Daniel wholeheartedly accepted Mr. Banks' offer, eager to embark on this new journey of creativity and collaboration. Over the next few months, his life transformed in ways he had never expected. He immersed himself in painting, pouring his heart and soul into each artwork, guided by Mr. Banks' mentorship and expertise. As he reflected on his journey, he marveled at how his little act of kindness had come full circle to change his life in such profound ways. The art he created with Mr. Banks resonated deeply with people, touching hearts and inspiring others with its emotional depth and sincerity. With a heartwarming story of kindness and unexpected turns, Daniel's journey exemplified the profound impact of compassion and the rewards it can bring. Have you ever had an act of kindness come back to you in an unexpected way? Share your experience with us in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.